A Bay Area Eagle Scout is being credited for taking on a really useful, lasting project, building a new playhouse for the Kaiser Early Childhood Center in Oakland. He uh, raised the money. He built the playhouse. It is accessible to all children. It's in compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. And joining us live to talk about all of this is Hudson Sutton. Hudson, good job. Uh, this is a project that will presumably live on for a long time. Uh, why a playhouse? What inspired you? Yeah, so I am a fourth generation Eagle Scout now. Um, and it's something that I thought about for a long time and not really, I'd really fully grasped what I wanted to do until I became older. Um, and I really wanted something that would last generations, like you said. I wanted something where I would be able to come back in 30 to 40 years and be able to come back with my kids and be like, look, I did this, um, and I wanted it to last several generations. No, um, no I was just going to say that's great. Uh, tell us a little bit about what makes it uh, a special playhouse. You didn't just yeah. throw this together. Yeah, so this was a custom-made 16 by 16 ADA accessible playhouse. Um, I was working specifically with uh, the early development center that worked with specially abled children. Um, and it was custom-made. I worked with my grandfather, who um, is an engineer, to be able to make it so it was a feasible project while also providing for the needs that the school needed. It sounds like you got a really good response when it came to getting some help in terms of people uh, sharing their time and money. Uh, a good response, Hudson? Yeah, it was, I was very fortunate to be able to have the support system that I had. I reached out to family, friends, um, and the greater community, and I was able to raise around $15,000 in order to complete my project. And through that, I was able to get discounted lumber and other specific discounts with companies that were willing to help out. So uh, you earned your Eagle Scout rank pretty recently. I think it was last month. Uh, yeah. Tell us more about being fourth generation. It sounds like you knew you were on this path. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely born into it. Uh, my great uh, grandpa got his in 1938. My grandpa got his in 1966, and my dad got his in 1991, and here I am in 2024 getting it. Um, I started off when I was uh, in first grade. I joined Cub Scouts, and I've, it's been a great path since, and I've learned a lot of amazing skills and uh, important skills that are going to last me for a lifetime, and I know I'm making myself proud and my family proud. Yeah, I bet you are. Hey, we were looking at some pictures of it. Maybe we'll see them again. It looks really nicely made. Thank you. Is it in use yet? Are you getting any response from uh, the children who will be using it? Yeah, so I, it took about, took a couple months in order to complete. As you can see, it was a large project because it was all from uh, raw lumber. But um, it was completed towards the end of the school year, but they had a little ribbon cutting, ribbon cutting ceremony. Um, and when I went in the other uh, day, just before the school year ended, um, you could see on the insides, there were like dirty handprints all over the walls. So you can see that there's getting a lot of use from the kids and the kids seem really excited about it. Yeah, dirty handprints in a good way. All right, Hudson, yeah. Sutton, uh, everybody's proud of you and uh, great job. Thanks so Thank much. You. Thank you.